Hello everybody and welcome to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your reading. If you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, then you can go to queenlight1111.com. Today we're going to be looking at what God energy is divine masculine in at this time. We have um, a deck here called Gods and Titans by Stacey DeMarco. This is available on my Amazon storefront. The link is in the description box, as well as the link to my website if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session. Let's go ahead and see what God energy is Divine Masculine in. We have Vishnu, Balance, and the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. Garud. Garuda. This is part of, you know, and, and this is not a coincidence here. You know, Garud is the, um, I believe, the mode of transportation for Vishnu. Uh, that's very interesting. Or it was definitely part of the Ramayana. That's very interesting that this has come out. So, uh, and, and just like right now, I have been just very intrigued uh, with the Ramayan. Um, anyway, I've been watching it. I've been, um, you know, learning more about it and just more about the relationship between Ram and Sita and then how they're the telepathy and their 5D connection through separation. I mean, it's very, very interesting. So Garud, Garuda here. Um, you know, Garuda, as I mentioned, was featured um, in the Vedas, okay? And he is, um, he's actually, it says he was in, yeah, he is the, he is connected definitely to Vishnu. Very interesting. So this masculine's bottom of the deck, Garuda, it says travel. Travel opens your experience and expands the self. Whatever journey you wish to take, you are protected. So this masculine could be traveling, you know, he could be on a vacation, he could be traveling somewhere, um, he may be thinking about traveling, but also as related to his sp spiritual journey, I mean, he is traveling through his spiritual journey. And so, you know, he is protected on his journey. And with this card of what this masculine, what God this masculine is, um, embodying at this time it's his vishnu vishnu is all about balance and rectifying imbalance in the body mind and soul reduces suffering and pain the middle path is the best course of action so it just feels like this masculine is on this journey this protected journey at this time and really trying to balance out the body, mind, and spirit. And I feel like, you know, you know, his energy from the readings that we've had in the past, the recent past, have really shown, you know, he's been all over the place, right? And so it's really about time for him to find that middle path that, you know, he can balance himself out so that he can reduce um, or even eliminate any pain or suffering, okay? So Vishnu in the Ramayan, I'm sorry, not in the Ramayan, in Hinduism is the preserver. He is the middle part of the Hindu trinity between Brahma and Shiva. Brahma is the creator, Shiva is the destroyer. So Vishnu has been reincarnated nine times to assist in the balancing of the powers of light and dark. And it's very interesting because Vishnu incarnated as Ram in the Ramayan. And the Ram story, the Ramayan story, is about good um, triumphing over evil. It is about the energy of, um, you know, the light, the, the, like the light over, you know, the light overcoming darkness. And we are headed into Diwali, which is at the end of this month. So again, this is very interesting. You know, the Vishnu has come up 
And so these incarnations, as I as I mentioned, you know, Ram is one, Krishna is one, Buddha is one, and there's a tenth reincarnation to come when a hero called Kalki is going to appear riding a white horse to again balance out the decline of humanity. And many religions have this, right? It's like the uh, Armageddon. I, I forget what they're all called, but it's kind of like you know, to end the evil, end the decline in humanity, as it says. And so this is really, um, this masculine is, is being graced with or trying to embody this energy of balance. And so Vishnu could be helping him. Um, and it's really helping him, you know, understanding that it's very hard. It's hard to find balance in the world that we live in today right? Because balance isn't always at the top of everyone's list. You know, um, it's, it's like we're either too busy uh, or too idle or too stuck in a cycle. And those who are on this spiritual journey understand the importance of balance, but it really feels like, you know, when there's so much imbalance, there's that pain and suffering that then our mind takes notice. And how do we you know, create balance, right? It's like, it, it's like no one really pays attention until things get too out of control. And so this masculine could be in this energy where his life or his pain or his suffering is too out of control. And now he's in the energy of saying, all right, how do I balance this out? How do I get some peace? You know, how do I, um, you know, get into a place where I'm not in this predicament over and over again? And this is where Vishnu steps in for masculine is creating this awareness okay and so he's actively seeking you know how do i get more harmony and peace what small steps or what large steps can i take to correct this imbalance in myself and so it just feels like you know with garud showing up you know, it could be I've got to travel to the therapist or I've got to travel somewhere out of my um, regular area, right? Maybe he's going to a retreat. Maybe he's going somewhere to just find a little peace and balance. So it just feels like this masculine is very, very protected on this journey. And it's very much this energy of you're, you're, you've got to go somewhere for now to ground yourself, to get centered within the earth um, because we've created awareness that you are out of balance and balance is necessary for you to find peace. And what's very interesting is divine feminine is in the energy of peace. So he could be seeking this peace within himself, this balance within himself. And once he does, he might see the peace once he's got, when he has his peace, that frankly, feminine is part of the energy that brings him peace as well. I hope that made sense. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.